All right, the crew is here, we're ready to go. The goal is to start with some Strava segments, find some of the Walnut Creek Strava segments that they like to race, and I'm gonna lay my mark on them. The goal here is to hit the few of the trails, scout them real quick, to kind of adjust my PSI as I go. Which brings me to the topic of this video, just talking about our PSI, what PSI is the best, and I wouldn't say there's a best, but I definitely say PSI is one of the most fun mods you can do without actually modding your board and it just kind of modifies your ride and how it's gonna feel. So what you're gonna do with your PSI is when you have really gnarly trail that's like full like fist size rocks and roots, you wanna run a little bit lower PSI, so kind of like absorbs it. And then when you have really fast flowy trails kind of like this to where it's just kind of, you're good, you're not gonna hit any crazy stuff. You want a little bit higher so you get that top speed, that top end on the board, and you're not gonna bounce around as much, then that's okay. And sometimes I'll run up to 14, Dom does sometimes 16. In the end, it's finding that perfect sweet spot. Talking about sweet spots, let's get moving, let's get on these trails. And so with the street, I like to ride about around 16 PSI with the cloud tire because I feel like it gives it a nice boinginess. The cloud tire is just that thinness makes it bonk way easier. And like I said, it's a little more spongy. And just any tire usually, I like to ride lower because then your bonks are like much, much easier. Look at me, I'm on. 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 Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. Whew, that was an awesome, awesome little gnarly obstacle right here. Uh, pretty scary. Um, I wanted to take the slightly harder route, which uh, you get a little bit more speed with it. Oh, I thought there was someone there. The way I took, you have to go a little bit faster and a little bit more aggressive. The way Andrew took was a little bit more technic technique involved where you, you get slow so you can hit each part you know, smoothly, which he, he knocked that one out of the park. I, I looked all like crazy. But um, yeah, with PSIs, like thinner tires generally, they just ride better at higher PSIs. Thicker tires ride better at lower PSIs. And when I say thin, something like the Cloud, where at 17, you can still push in the tire. Um, something like the Trail Pro, it's harder to push in. It's a, a stronger rubber. And so you can ride that down to like eight PSI like Bodhi did. It's pretty wild. And once you get, and get the sweet spots, depending on the trails, you can start just editing them. Like for hitting something like this, you might wanna bring it quite low and then pop it back up for the rest of the trail. Uh, something like that, like if you're not racing it, obviously. All right, totally forgot to film an outro, but here we are back in sunny Florida, 75 degrees. Hope you got a ton out of that video. Really the higher level of it is the higher PSI, the harder tire's gonna feel, the more traction and, and torque it's gonna get, 
the lower PSI, the more it's gonna kind of absorb the impacts, keep you more stable on the board during the trails and any kind of off-roading. And then you can kind of get into the semantics of things. Hope you got a ton out of that video. Really the higher level of it is the higher PSI, the harder the tire's gonna feel, the more traction and, and torque it's gonna get. The lower PSI, the more it's gonna kind of absorb the impacts, keep you more stable on the board during the trails and any kind of off-roading. And then you can kind of get into the semantics of things where you can start to dial it a little bit. Like I run around 14 to 16 PSI in the streets because I just like how it feels, right? It's a little cushier. And then when you hit stuff to bonk, you get more spring into it. So just experiment and have fun with it. Until next time, I'll see you guys.